Now we're going to take a look at Ardha Chandrasana or Half Moon Pose. You want to look to the place where you're going to place your hand. She's going to take the hand all the way off to the side so that the hand is right under the shoulder and she can elongate the right ribs. She's going to lift her hand so it's directly over the hand that's on the floor. So it's one even line. And then the heel is going to be flexed, so the foot is flexed, and the sit bone and the heel are in one straight line. Pressing that inner foot. She's going to lift her belly. She's going to drop her tailbone toward that back heel, and the whole front body is open. It's okay for her to look at the floor for balance, and eventually when she gets steadier, she'll start to look up, soften your hand, soften your hand, good. She'll look up toward the thumb. Here's a great variation for half moon pose. For those of you who are less flexible and you're just beginning your balance, it's nice to go grab a stool or a chair. Some of you may even have blocks. So please bring your arms out to your sides again, Amy, and just bend your knee. And rather than coming all the way to the floor, she'll just take her hand to the chair. And she doesn't have to lift her leg up so high. Just lift the arm until you get more and more strength. You can take a lower chair, you can take a block, eventually come to a blanket until you develop the strength to come all the way to the floor. Ardha Chandrasana really strengthens the hips, the legs, your balance, your back, your focus. It's a really wonderful calming pose for the nervous system.